Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abhishek and in this video we will learn how to create Kafka producer and consumer in Spring Boot. If you are watching this video, I assume you have already some knowledge about Kafka and Zookeeper and Spring Boot. For this session, we need Kafka, Zookeeper and Kafdrop already running. I have already made a video on how to run these in Docker desktop. I have provided the link for that video in the description. You can have a look at that. So without any delay, let's start today's session. Since we are going to use Spring Boot, let's create and download a sample Spring Boot application from Spring Initializer. So let's go to Spring Initializer and we'll download a sample, sample in Spring Boot application. I'm going to use Java 11. And for the dependencies, I'll add web dependencies and then Kafka dependencies. I'm going to use IntelliJ. So let me open that project. And uh, just make sure that you have already uh, selected uh, Java 11 for the SDK. Okay, so let's uh, quickly check uh, by running our application. Right, so the application is running. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this applica application properties uh, to application.yaml. Now, uh, let's go ahead and create a service class for a producer. So first I'm going to create a package. I'll call it services. Inside services, I'll create a producer class. So I'll call it Kafka producer. In this service, we are going to write a method uh, for publishing the message. I'm going to pass a Kafka topic and the message to be published. Next, I'm going to create Kafka template. Now to publish the message, we just need to use this Kafka template and uh, just send the message. Now that we have created our producer, we need a way to uh, trigger this method. I'm going to create a REST API, which when triggered will publish the message on given topic name. So let's go ahead and create a controller package. Now, for this Kafka producer to understand on which Kafka server to publish and what serializer and uh, deserializer to use, we need to uh, provide all those information. We are going to create some uh, properties. So here uh, we need to provide uh, some details for our Kafka. So first we need to provide our bootstrap servers where our Kafka nodes are running. Then consumer group ID and then key and value deserializer for our consumer and producer. 
now let's go ahead and run our application and from postman we will hit our producer api now let's quickly verify if in our docker desktop kafka and zookeeper and kafdrop are running or not so here they are running now let's start spring boot application meanwhile i'll open postman we will publish our message on one topic named orders okay so our application is started now let's go ahead and open calf drop so we don't see any messages as of now in orders topic now from postman let's publish one message okay so i'll just call it order one and i'm just sending it it says my message published now let's see in the logs of our spring boot application yeah it's a message published now let's quickly verify in calf drop now let's go ahead and create our kafka consumer so similar to kafka producer let's create a service for our kafka consumer we need to annotate this method with at the rate kafka listener and we need to pass on which uh, topic um, and group a uh, consumer group uh, this consumer will listen to so first thing is topics so our topics is orders and our group id is cloud geek here i am hard coding uh, this topic and group id uh, but you can always uh, take these values from the properties file all right that's it so our consumer is ready now let's restart our kafka application okay so you can see here uh, this consumer group has been assigned one partition and the topic is orders so let's clear this and we will go back again to our uh, postman and we will publish a new message on orders topic and we'll see if it is coming to our kafka consumer or not okay so here it says message published this is coming from the producer and here message received is orders 2 this is coming from our consumer now you can write your uh, processing logic in this method there are some additional uh, values which you can receive as part of this kafka listener so like key uh, offset and partition etc we can write it like this now let's restart our application and we'll publish one more message to our orders topic call it order 3 yeah so you can see here partition 0 offset 2 and key is cloud geek we'll go once more to our calf drop and just verify so here orders 3 offset 2 cloud geek that's all for this session if you have any doubts or any suggestions please do write in comments thank you for watching this video have a nice day